The Florida humidity is certain to be a factor in this one. There's no other way to say it, really. It is hot. It is humid here at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. With the echoes of cannon blast still ringing in our ears from the north end zone, the Bucks were introduced a moment ago, and they are all set as their guys will do battle with the Atlanta Falcons. Throwing on first down is Brady. There's the Penn State man. It's Chris Godwin. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Brings up second. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early. Something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. So quick on the spin. Uh, he's spinning, man. And this is going to be a Bucks first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. 54 is mine. 54 is mine. Brady now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Brady's throw complete there to Evans. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Third and three. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. From the gun, it's Brady. A pass underneath for Fournette. And he is going to have a Bucks first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. From Falcon territory now, here's first and ten at the 46. Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. Allen Bailey in on the stop. Taken down at the 43-yard line. A three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Brady gives this one off to Jones. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, it oftentimes is won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. Throwing is Brady on third down. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. So first possession, fourth and short. Field goal's no gimme from here. What do you think about going for it? I'm not just thinking about it. I'm signaling, go for it. Let's get this, all okay. right? Yeah, look, you're right. You know, the field goal's there, but it's not a chip shot. My big thing is opening drive. You're trying to establish momentum. Let's not stall it ourselves. Let's go get this first down and then just continue on downfield and try to get a touchdown. Thank you, confidence. Yeah, why not? Let's go. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, they'll be disappointed with that effort. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again. 
Ryan. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Intended target on that one, Russell Gage. But now it'll be third down. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. From the shotgun, Ryan looking deep for Julio. And this is caught inside the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That pass was heavily defended on third down, but you know what? He's one of the best in the league at body control, and he showed you why there. So what that tells you is that the guy throwing the football understands his guys, doesn't he? Give them a chance, put it up there, and realize that even in a battle, they're more than likely to come down with the football. On first and goal, Gurley. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Falcons have taken the early lead. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yeah, it certainly does, because after that big play, I think resistance almost felt futile at that point, didn't it? And the very next play, they come right back quick, fast, and in a hurry, and put it in the end zone. Who able to connect on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now following the touchdown, Hoff Richter to kick off. Now this will make it into the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. Looking downfield for Godwin. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. That sun's going to be a factor all game long. I'm not sure it made a difference on that one, but it's something to think about on all deep throws during this time of year. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Shotgun now for Brady. And he's got an open man. It's Gronkowski. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. After one, 7 nothing. on EA Sports. Falcons 7, Buccaneers nothing. First down, Brady. Over the middle here to Brown. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Buccaneers, first down. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. Again, they'll throw with Brady. He's going deep for Brown. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. Mike 54. Mike 54. 
Looking back to the air on second down. It's Brady. That's out to his running back, Fournette. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. That play was well covered. Just tried to check it down. Unfortunately, not able to find any yardage on that one. The Bucks on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 11. Now Brady again. He'll set up the screen to Fournette. And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. So that'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And this is good. It was running kind of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it and they are on the board but still trailing it's seven to three so he gets a shot at atoning for the earlier miss here in the first half and able to knock it through and what a relief for him don't you think because how many games have we done where kickers missed one early and never got a chance to atone for it the rest of the game that's a lot to carry around this across the 20 but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line. Ryan will bring the Falcons up now first and 10 at their own 23. From the gun he'll set up to throw. Going for the deep ball. And the throw left sideline here is caught but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Love the idea, love the concept, but you got to leave a little room on the sideline so he can fade into it when he makes the catch. That was thrown too close to it for the receiver to make a play. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Throwing again, Ryan. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being... Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for Buccaneer TD. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And the lead is now 10-7. couple yards into the end zone and he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22 about set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line back to the air Ryan after the pick six fights through and now a crease and he'll be out of bounds but able to get it up past the 45 the catch and run good for 24 yards when you get a big tight end like this sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down oftentimes your best bet just jump on and hold on 
and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. On first down, it's Gurley. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him, so when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. The throw over the middle, taken in. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 28. A good pick up there of 20 yards. First and ten, it's Ryan. A slant to Jones. And down inside the 15 he goes. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Game of seven brings up second and three. From the six now on second and three. Again, Ryan. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. It's Calvin Ridley on the receiving end from Matt Ryan. And the Falcons have retaken the lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower. Bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Sterling Hoffrichter. Now following the touchdown, Hoffrichter to kick off. Taken in at the three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And looking at this situation, Charles, you got more than a minute. You've got all three timeouts. Probably no need to play this safe. So what you're saying is that we're doing a little bit of a mind meld here, aren't we? Because I'm thinking along the same lines as you. This amount of time, don't be compelled to play it too safe. This is a chance to get points on the board. Press it a little bit. Yeah, especially since a touchdown here gets you the lead. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Working from the gun, it's Brady. 
That's complete to his running back, Evans. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. That's the reason we ball for. Circle round twice for the encore. If you know, you know. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Operating from the gun, Brady. That's to his running back, Leonard Fournette. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. A nine-yard pickup just one yard away from three consecutive first down plays. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he'll get that to Fournette, complete. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. They certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. At the 30-yard line. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt, and it is good. Oh, that one looked to be in trouble the whole way, but it does get over the bar. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we send you a stone throw away across I-4 to Orlando, there standing by is Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Falcons about set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now Gurley. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. He was brought down by Lebron. Calling no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Third down. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. They run. It's Gurley. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They go play action with Ryan. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A gain there of 30 big ones. It doesn't look like this defense found the magic elixir at halftime. This offense was rolling in the first half, and that's continued here in the third quarter. Another big play right there. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. To throw is Ryan. To the right side and complete to Hurst. 
And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. Complete. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Forget height and catch radius. When you run the fade really well, run down the defender, kind of take him a little bit towards the middle of the field, and then fade to the sideline and give your quarterback some space, it can be executed that well, just as we saw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Matt Ryan able to connect with his top man, Julio Jones. And the Falcons will extend their lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. And with that, the lead is up to eight. Is good. Makes the score Falcons 21. Buccaneers 13. Now following the touchdown, Hoff Richter to kick off. Taking it about the one. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three. And see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things work well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. Fournette running out of the gun. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. From the gun, Brady. Evans has it left side. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 26. First and 10. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Brady now on first down. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory, and that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. And incomplete. A.J. Terrell on the coverage. The 
The Bucks on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time it's third and three. They'll try and run for it with Jones. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll run it with Jones. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup, and on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. I love those plays, fourth and one. That's who wants it more, this time the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. The Falcons go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Buccaneers' defense holds, and they get the football back. They'll find Miller. That's complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. 14-yard line, second and 11. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. A gain of five brings up third and six. It's Brady. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, it's been a tough go for him. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. Brady not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it here on fourth. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at the 20. At their own 20-yard line. After the interception, here's Ryan. The left side completion to Jones. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. And Jones has it over the middle. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Well, not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Another carry now for Gurley. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game.
Now Ryan. Completes his short throw to Stocker. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Second down, this is Gurley. Down to about the 22 here. Gurley on the carry. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Ryan heads down to a knee, and that should wrap this one up. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. <laughs> So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. And with that, I'm off to the airport. Charles will be on I-4 back to Windermere as we say so long from Tampa. Have a nice trip. I'll be home before you even take off. Lucky. <laughs>